Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain and we are on day 2348 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I'll guide you through the vast landscapes of biblical wisdom. Today we'll delve into Proverbs chapter 31 verses 1 through 9 from the New Living Translation. In these verses, we encounter the teachings of King Lemuel's mother, who imparts wisdom concerning leadership, self-control, and justice. Let's dive into the rich wisdom found in Proverbs chapter 31, verses 1 through 3. The sayings of King Lemuel contains this message, which his mother taught him. O my son, O my son of my womb, O son of my vows, do not waste your strength on women, on those who ruin kings. These verses convey the importance of avoiding distractions and maintaining self-control, especially in matters of relationships and leadership. How can we glean from King Lemuel's mother's teachings? We need to recognize the potential dangers of indulgence and distraction. Preserve your strength and focus on worthy pursuits, avoiding entanglements that may lead to ruin, especially in relationships and leadership roles. Now let's look at verses 4 and 5. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, to guzzle wine, Rulers should not crave alcohol, for if they drink, they may forget the law and not give justice to the oppressed. These verses emphasize the importance of sobriety and sound judgment, particularly for those in positions of authority. Practicing moderation and restraint, especially in matters of consumption. Avoid excessive indulgences in alcohol and other substances that impair your judgment and hinder the administration of justice. Maintain clarity of mind and fulfill your responsibilities effectively and uphold justice for the oppressed. Now let's consider verses 6 through 9. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those being crushed. Yes, speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. My son, fear the Lord and the King. Do not associate with rebels, for disaster will hit them suddenly. Who knows what punishment will come from the Lord and the King. These verses underscore the importance of advocating for the marginalized and upholding justice, while also admonishing against rebellion and disobedience. How can we apply these teachings to our lives? Well, we need to stand up for the rights of the oppressed and the vulnerable in our society, using your voice and your influence to ensure fairness and equity. Cultivate a healthy fear of God and respect for authority, avoiding associating with those who promote rebellion and disobedience. Recognize the divine and earthly consequences that await those who defy God's law and the authority of the rulers. And there you have it, my friends. Insights into Proverbs chapter 31, verses 1 through 9. These verses provide a valuable guidance on leadership, self-control, and justice, as imparted by King Lemuel's wise mother. As we continue on our journey through the pages of the Bible, let's remember to apply these timeless principles in our daily lives. Until the next time... Keep seeking wisdom and make it part of your daily trek. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, and most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. As we take this trek of life together... Let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.